cryptocurrency on the side. Dude, yeah. cryptocurrency. Yeah. That's nice. What is what's your guys' thoughts on the cryptocurrency? Like is it a bubble or is it an actual uh currency in the future? Uh, I'd say both. Really? Yeah. Like there are parts of it which which I feel are not cannot be true at all. Yeah. But there's some parts, you know, where it is pretty serious. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. honestly, it's really volatile right now. Uh-huh. But uh, considering uh, cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Solana and stuff, yeah, I think they have a high potential mm. in the future. Okay, how many years do you think uh, it's gonna be happening? Like, yeah, you know, when will it be the actual currency in US? Uh, I don't think it would be like an actual currency, like replace all the countries' currency and right. be a unified one. Uh-huh. But I think yeah, it would be majorly used between inter, uh, like like for example, two countries <coughs> want to trade, so they'll use cryptocurrencies or something like that. It, yeah, yeah. I think it, it could be used as a trading currency. Yeah, you know, like okay. we have the US dollar, right? Uh-huh. We could shift to the uh, cryptocurrencies. Because the problem with cryptocurrencies is you cannot monitor them. So a lot of right. illegal ha- activities can happen because of that. Because the government hates it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they hate it because they cannot control it. Though. Right. Yeah. Because that was my thing. Like gold, like we know like, like so Bitcoin is kind of like the gold of the new area. And then Ethereum is kind of like other, like I, I, I would not quote on that. I know more about Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah. But uh, like at the beginning it was so good. Uh-huh. But then like billionaires and millionaires started exploding it like a stock. So yeah. you have... Like Elon Musk just tweeting about Dogecoin then. <coughs> no, no, Dogecoin, uh, right? Dogecoin. Exactly. Dogecoin, but like the whole purpose is like the Bitcoin was uh, on the down, so uh-huh. he just like inflated Dogecoin on purpose. So yeah. I, I don't know anyone uh, like recently that has exploded gold. So mm. I don't know. That's I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just volatile. Yeah. I think the problem is that uh, pe- uh, the people are not like educated about it and they treat it as a stock as well. That's the main problem. Yeah. Do should uh sh- do you think should uh should school educate people about the cryptocurrency? I think yeah. Like yeah, you, there okay. are a lot of universities uh, universities that have started specific degrees related to it. Really? But yeah. Oh wow. But yeah, they should be introduced in school, like cause there's a lot of misinformation and stuff that happens around cryptocurrencies. Hmm. Isn't um didn't the Argentina or one country accepted uh, the cryptocurrency as their actual yeah, yeah they accept um, I don't remember the country but yeah they Bolivia can you, Bolivia. Pack, can you pack check Bolivia yeah I think Bolivia, Bolivia there were okay. a few countries like do you think that will impact the whole finance in the world absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. What, what's your thoughts on cryptocurrency since you do it I, I, I do it just because it's what's viral right now what's uh-huh. trendy it's the way to make money because they went up the Bitcoin went up super high like last week didn't they i think so i think yeah. so yeah it did spike it quite a bit yeah but i was mining ethereum back in 2018 so you made a lot of money <laughs> i could have okay you could have. i made some wrong moves and okay that's how we learned okay cryptocurrency. Yeah. okay it's el salvador not Bolivia. el salvador okay okay because hmm. i actually did some uh cryptocurrency trading in military really yeah wow I lost a lot of money, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it, it, you know personally I don't like it because it's so fast and it never stops. Yeah, yeah, it's unpredictable. It is unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's like any stock to be honest. Like, uh, like for example, uh, like throughout my life, I just heard one person that made money with uh, Bitcoin. Okay. But guess what? Every story is like probably we <coughs> started like oh my god we're making a lot of money a lot of right. money a lot of money and guess what. I think it's like what 2021 or something 2022 when it declined like yeah like yeah, less 22. like almost 300 percent or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you think about it, when it declined minus 300 percent, there are tons of people who bought the low point and waited until 2024, which made a lot of money. Let me let me tell you because I invested yeah. in crypt uh, yeah. in cryptocurrency. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me look it up. There you go. So I invested in Bitcoin in during the pandemic in 2020 okay um you guys are gonna blame me so i did it in mexico i did kind of like some businesses with my friends and everything uh-huh. and we and i won like 250 bucks or something okay and hold on this is asking for more all right hold on uh there we go sorry so they so i won 250 bucks out of the out of the business and i was like all right cryptocurrency is kind of like on the high right so right. i just put all of my money into it uh-huh. and the highest i've ever been with bitcoin 
is my assets, and then I go to Bitcoin. Uh huh. And throughout my entire thing, I had five hundred fifty dollars. So I doubled my amount that I put in Bitcoin. I was like, no, nah, leave it, leave it over there and everything. Okay. Now I just have two dollars. <laughs> it would be funny if you pulled out the five hundred fifty dollars and kept it until last week, and then you made a tons of profit. You know, man, I was a high schooler. What oh. can I tell you? <laughs>